Okay, on this video, I will be explaining what is inside your compressor. By a compressor, I mean this component. This is the compressor. At the back of your fridge, you have this component. What it does, it pumps the refrigerant or the gas that is charged inside your fridge. Um, we've got these two pipes. They are the suction pipes, or we call them suction side. And this one is the discharge. Um, this, this is how these pipes are on the inside. Um, so one, two, they are suction, they are our suction sides. They, they are the same, you see. But you can see this one. Uh, I've cut it when I was opening this compressor. So the discharge side is joined to, to the pipe that we have on our motor. It's joined to this pipe. So if you know, if you did motors, you know that this is the stator and this is the rotor. So, and these are the windings. So um, a stator is made up of laminated clay. If you remember clearly when you did your motors, but it doesn't matter even if you didn't do motors. Um, you can see um, these are the laminated plates. They are just stacked. Then the windings, they go inside these slots. Um, that's what you see. You see all the windings are go going inside the slots and they are insulated to the stator. So, um, if you study motors, you will know that when we power this motor, or when you switch on your fridge and you power that compressor, there is a magnetic field that is induced or is formed on these windings. So, that's the magnetic field that pushes this rotor. So, when this rotor spins, a compressor has a piston. So when that rotor spins, a piston moves forward and backward through that hole. You, you can see it when we turn it like this. Um, a piston coming forward and backward. So that's what happens when the compressor is running, a piston goes out and goes back. Um, how they built the compressor? They built it in such a way that when a piston goes forward, um, it, it's doing something. And when it's, when it's going backward, it's doing the other thing, which is the opposite. Of what it did when it was going forward. What do I mean by that? Um, okay, um, we've got this. Ah. On this, we have this uh, fitted here. Um, there's no way of fitting it wrong because um, it, they, there are these two holes that goes to this. You see this. Things they tell us how to fit this thing. Um, so let's put this. So what happens here is um, when the piston goes backward. Okay, usually they have this which closes here, right? Then they screw this thing. But on this video, I want to explain what happens when the compressor when the compressor piston moves backwards. You see, uh, that's where the compressor sucks. See, um, when it moves backwards, it pulls on that hole, so um, it it's sucking. When it moves forward, I will have to remove this thing for you too to see and understand. Let me 
Let us remove it. So we've seen that when it's going backward, it sucks, right? So, okay, let's let's show this again. When it's going backward, when it goes backwards, it sucks because it pulls the C at the back. But when the compressor now uh, uh, it's going forward, it pushes this and it and that this hole closes when it closes when it's going forward it pushes here and close and also push here this one will open you can see can you see that can you see so now the compressor it's discharging through that hole but when it's sucking it pushes also there closes but opens here so so what we what have we learned is that um when the compressor when the compressor piston goes when the compressor piston goes back it will suck through this hole but close this hole when it comes forward it will close that hole it's not aligned because uh, uh, I'm holding it by my hands. Um, it will close there and it will open here. So it will discharge. So that is how a compressor gives us a discharge and the suction. Or oh, that is how a compressor sucks and discharge. Um, that will be a topic for another day. Uguti, um, where does that help us on refrigeration?